Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this week's video, we're going to be giving you a full price breakdown of how much it costs to turn our school bus into a tiny home. We're Harry and Nikki, and we converted this school bus on a low budget in just 30 days on our Airbnb host's driveway. But this school bus isn't the first vehicle we've converted. We've actually built two more before this back home in the UK. So without tooting our own horns, we like to think we're pretty good at this low budget conversion thing. And that's probably why you clicked on this video. So let's get into it. So the first thing to talk about is the bus itself. And this bus is an absolute beauty. So if you saw our vlog style videos of how we bought this bus, you would have seen that we paid $10,000 all in for this bus itself. So that included all of the tax paid up front and the registration fees. So we kind of did well with that deal there with the dealer. So the bus itself is an automatic. It is a 2012 Chevrolet Express with only 96,000 miles on the clock. And just so you guys know, if you guys are looking for a bus, we got this off Facebook Marketplace. So have a little look on there if you're looking to start your school bus adventure. But now let's talk about the cost of the conversion itself. So for all of our conversions, we have a strict budget in mind. And we always start with a budget between us and we put that straight into a shared bank account so we can never go over it. So for this conversion, we budgeted $14,500. And that includes the cost of the bus and also the cost of the conversion. So let's break down that $4,500. Not only to help you guys, but also because we've had a few comments on Facebook saying that they don't believe that we've only spent this amount of money, effectively calling us liars. So this is for you guys. So the first section we thought we'd break down for you was our electrics. And now it's probably a good time to mention that we've put together an Excel spreadsheet that's available online for anyone to view. On this spreadsheet, you can just go ahead and press the link next to the product you're interested in, and it will take you right through to the page we bought it from at its best price. We've copied our electrical system from our last two builds where we made these diagrams, one describing how we kind of did the 12 volt system, one how we did the 240 volt, which is 110 volt in America, but they're exactly the same. And then one diagram with just the overview of our whole electrical system. So overall on our electrics, we spent $1,485. And that is pretty low for an electrical spend on a bus this size. All of this stuff you're going to be able to find on the spreadsheet, but this is just our MT50, couple of USB outputs, our dimmable lights, and a 110 volt output for charging all of our accessories. All of the other electrics, you can kind of go through that spreadsheet and break them down for yourselves. Our main takeaway for you guys to keep the cost of your electric so low is not to overinvest in solar panels. We only went for 220 watts of solar panels. That's because they're monocrystalline, so it means they can keep giving us power. Even if it's cloudy, they just rely on light for that. We thought that we'd rather have a bigger battery rather than more solars, just so that it means that we can power all of our stuff and charge everything up while we're on the road and just know that them solar panels are constantly topping that big battery up. So our next category is big buy appliances. So this sort of thing includes our fridge, our porta potty, our table and its leg, um, our two burner gas hob, our filler cabinet, things like that, kind of that are quite expensive that don't really have a home on this spreadsheet. But I think our main takeaway from this section is our fridge and our pre-made IKEA kitchen. So our fridge firstly, because it's a domestic fridge, it's normally one you would buy for a household. But this is a tip we've kind of done in our last van builds as well, is you can literally just attach the fridge to your inverter. Make sure you buy an inverter that is big enough and it is a pure sine wave one, because that does make a difference. If you're buying a fridge that is specifically for RVs, they're normally 12 volt ones, Dometic ones. I think they're about 600 pounds and this was only 169. So um, you're really, really saving a lot of money there. And just quickly, our Knox Holt IKEA kitchen. If you saw our van build series, you would have seen us build this bad boy. Um, and it actually cost us $220. And that includes the price of the worktop. Um, if we were buying like a butcher block countertop, I think that would have cost like $100 itself. So um, we really saved a lot just by buying a pre-made kitchen. The only drawback is it's a little bit heavy, but considering the rest of our build is pretty lightweight, we thought it would be perfectly fine. So the next section we're going to talk you through is our water system. And we actually only spent $175 on the whole system, including everything you can see on that spreadsheet, which is kind of crazy. Now, we kept the cost so low on this section because we opted for a 12 volt non-pressurized water system. This also actually helps our battery, keeps a lot of power because it doesn't mean we have a water heater or a pressurized pump anywhere. And this is all thanks to our 12 volt submersible pump which is one of the cheapest things in our build, 
But yeah, it's a game changer for us because it means we can keep the build super simple and we don't have to put too much time and effort into building this pressurised water system that just gets a bit complicated in our opinion. There is an obvious drawback to this that means we kind of can't have any shower system in here and we kind of have to buy a more expensive faucet or tap. But for us, we can shower at beaches, at Planet Fitness, or with our solar shower. So you know what? We thought it was worth it. So our second to last category is decorations and accessories. And that is my favorite part of the whole band build. And this came to only $312, which I think is pretty good. So these accessories include our full foam mattress, which I guess you wouldn't call it an accessory, uh, but we got that off Amazon and it's a really comfy kind of foamy mattress. Um, it includes our bedding, it includes all of our photo frames, hanging plants, which we absolutely love. Just these small buys for $300, you can make such a bare bone of a van into a proper house, which feels like a home and is so comfortable and aesthetic. And I think $300 to do that really isn't a lot to spend. So the final section in this cost breakdown is the raw materials it took to build this bus. So obviously it's really hard to keep track of every little single thing that we spent, but luckily we only shopped at one lumber store and that was... Home Depot. So as I said at the beginning, we obviously have that shared bank account, so we could easily look at our Home Depot spendings in that one month. And so we grabbed all of the different prices and we came to one number, which was exactly how much we spent at Home Depot during our conversion. So in our conversion, we gave Home Depot $1,820 on all of this wood, all of this raw materials, all of the screws, all of the stuff you'd need for DIY. Everything. Glue, Sikflex. Everything. Everything, even our gas um, canister we got from Home Depot. So. Yeah, anything you're thinking, oh, well, I wonder what, what section that comes in. It will be in the Home Depot section. It will be in there. <laughs> so yeah, I think that kind of rounds it up. Um, I hope you guys have more of an idea of how you can really do a schoolie conversion on such a low budget. Um, or at least that's what we think is a low budget. I'm sure there are much lower budgets than this. But if you found this video helpful at all, or just enjoyed watching it and you're not even thinking about doing a school bus conversion, <laughs> please do leave a like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Yeah, we'd love to know who you are and where you're from, what country, whereabouts in England or America, um, and just get to know you guys um, a little bit more. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week in our next video. We will see you next week.